Okay, good afternoon everybody. We're here at the homestead and uh, so we're going to attempt to remedy a problem that we've got while we're camping. So the issue that we're having is when we go swimming and stuff, we have nowhere to hang our swimsuits and towels when they're wet so that they can dry. People have towel racks that they set up in the back of their rig or where, wherever essentially and um, it looked like something I could make out of PVC. So the issue that we're having is when we go swimming and stuff, we have nowhere to hang our swimsuits and towels when they're wet so that they can dry. We've been hanging them off the awning every so often, but uh, the problem with that is, is every time it gets windy, you gotta put the awning in, and so you gotta find some place to put all that stuff. So we seen as we were walking around, I think it was Baylor Beach, that uh, people have towel racks that they set up in the back of their rig or wherever essentially and um, it looked like something I could make out of PVC so that's what we're gonna do um, this is gonna be kind of a difficult thing for me to film because I don't exactly have a written up plan for how I'm gonna build it but um, we're gonna I will have a plan written up after it's built of what you need to do in order to make it yourself uh, but um, I can tell you what I bought so I bought four 10-foot sections of three-quarter inch PVC and uh, some elbows, some tees, a neat little elbow which I'll show you. It's an elbow with a spur coming off of it. So that's what we're going to use and uh, we're just going to kind of imagine this up as we go. And uh, there's your tools that's going to be required, a reciprocating saw or something to cut the pipe and a tape measure. So, so friends, I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything, but what I wanted to show you guys is these Milwaukee it was all pen. And you can pretty much write on anything with these. And so I pretty I use them for anything. Uh, they work great for when you're marking treated lumber because sometimes it's wet and nothing else wants to write on it. I mean, these things are just perfect. Um, so that's what we're using. They write good on PVC. And uh, so let's start this off here. All right, so this is what we're using. It's three quarter inch PVC, schedule 40. Um, this is some pretty good stuff. And uh, you want something that's thick and sturdy because this, you know, it's going to hold some weight. We don't want it to fall over or break. And uh, so I thought that this was the best thing for the rung. And we're only going to make the rungs four foot long so they don't flex too much. And uh, the main posts are going to be three feet long. Uh, so that's what this mark is here, is three foot. And so out of a ten footer, you can get two threes and a four. So that gives me two posts and a rung. And so that'll take up, we'll do do that with two of the 10 foot sections and that'll get us started. So friends this is where we're at. So two 10 footers gave me four three foot sections and two four foot sections. So I, I need another four foot section and then uh, I'll show you the rest here as we go. Okay so this is me just trying to dry fit some stuff and see what it would look like. So I originally thought that a foot long would be about right, but uh, I don't think it's going to be very stable at a foot long. So then of course I thought, well, two foot, and that just looks like it might be too big. So now I'm thinking maybe a foot and a half seems like it would put us right on the money um, for stability. So now we just got to hope that we have enough pipe to do that. So here's kind of the, what the top is going to look like. Of course this will be there will be a T actually in here and this will be higher, but I'm just working with the shorter pipes right now to try to design the top. And actually this will be one of those uh, so that there'll be a rung across the top. But uh, I've got these 16 inches apart. You can actually see there's, there's a line here and a line here that I drew on the floor. And it looks like I need two 11 inch sections of pipe. For right here. So that's what we're gonna do. And by the way, none of these cuts have to be perfectly square, but you do want to try to make sure you get things as equal as possible. Uh, it just makes it easier. 
Okay friends, so as you can see, I'm pretty close to my 16 inch goal here. But uh, it's also not squeezed together the whole way. I never much liked dry fitting PVC because there's always the risk that it doesn't come out. But these three spots are where the rungs are going to be that hold the towels. So this is just going to be a post on the side. And so we're going to make a second one of these. Of course, we're going to have to cut a piece to go there. But uh, the other thing I do want to try to do is get some sand and fill this bottom portion with sand. Uh, that way it's uh, a little bit more sturdy. Um, having something in the bottom of it will keep it upright. But uh, I think this height's about right. Let's see if we can raise this up here. So this will be about the level of the top rungs and the bottom rungs. So the goal was just to keep it high enough that, uh, that your tiles are off the ground. So, you know, you've got about well, about three feet to that first rung. So if you've got a six foot towel, you know, it'll be just barely above the ground. But I think it's gonna work out really good. So friends, I'm using the pieces from the other one in order to make the marks for the pieces for the new one. That way everything is as close to the same size as possible. So you can see where that's at. I don't know if I can do that one-handed, but it looks like it's just right on that three, right there. And then you can make a mark and cut. And then uh, the other thing that I am doing is uh, taking a knife and getting all these these burrs off of this because you don't want that. But um, so the posts, you know, like what we just had put together that you just saw, those after I put sand in it, those are going to get glued together. But then the rungs have to be taken out at every trip. So this is going to store, you know, as you're just your two flat posts. And we're going to store those on the top bunk in our rig. And then you'll have the four, four foot sections, you know, that'll just be loose. And so what I'm going to do with these fittings right here, I'm going to take my sander and sand out the inside. I'm going to use a drum sander, but you can use a Dremel if that's something you have. Or uh, the other thing you could do is sand off some of this on the end so that they go in and out easier because we want them to be snug, but we don't want them to be so snug that they stay in there permanently. So I'll show you that in a bit. This is just a little barrel sander. I'm turn it on here and just lightly. The goal here is just to take out just enough to make sure that this pipe doesn't ever get stuck in here. Uh, you can see that. So if we stick that in all the way, it's still still pretty pretty snug. Take a little bit more off. Um, it is kind of difficult with this sander to get down in there. The other thing too about sand and plastic is it does get hot and then you melt it, so that's no good either. But uh, I think we're doing pretty good with this one. See it? So that's what you want. And like I said, you could use sandpaper or a Dremel or something, but uh, you just don't want to get that PVC pipe stuck in there. But I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'll show you what it looks like all dry put together. Okay friends, so welcome back to the Mountains Into Memories Fab Shop day two and uh, so yesterday I forgot a couple of these 45 degree elbows when I was at the hardware store so I had to go back today and get them but uh, the plan for this then is these two towers which you can hopefully see and then of course the bottom we're gonna glue these together and then all these rungs there's three of them those three rungs you know you can remove and so it should store pretty flat and pretty well I think it's gonna work out perfectly and then uh, we're gonna paint it in just a second we'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together and in use at the beach
Okay, so friends, this is our tower rack that we made um, in use. And uh, so far, it seems like it works really well. Um, and uh, the color we painted it even matches the timber pretty well. Um, it's a uh, hammered rust-oleum bronze, so looks pretty good. And uh, now, as you can see here, the awning is free of stuff hanging off of it after a day at the beach. So if it was windy, we could put it in right away, which was kind of our problem before. So friends, this concludes the episode on building this tower rack. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful in some way. Uh, the main thing I want to do is encourage you to be creative with the things you need around the RV. You don't always have to go out and spend a ton of money to make your camping experience better. I want part of this channel to be about being thrifty and not spending a ton of money on accessories and gadgets. That way you can go camping more often because you have more money to spend on actually going camping. Um, you know, gas and the campsites and stuff, that stuff gets pricey. So if you spend all your money on accessories, that doesn't get you out camping as much. In next week's episode, we're going to Chigateague Island, which is, was a really fun experience for us. And so we're going to share it with you. We're going to share how the truck did tow in five hours across the Bay Bridge and all that stuff. If you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that next week when we post our video on Chigateague, you'll be the first to know about it. Mm-hmm.